Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Think Constructive. I am Isha and today I will be talking about GitHub flow using web interface. So let us start with today's session. So I will just show you today's session plan, what all I will be covering. GitHub flow via web interface. The first thing we will be looking at how a new GitHub repository can be created, followed by branch creation, a new branch creation. Then we will be adding a new file there and we'll do some edit in that file. Then we'll commit that file to the created new branch, which we'll be creating. And then we'll create a pull request and we will merge that pull request to main branch. And then further, we'll verify our code changes at the main branch. So this we will be covering today. And in order to cover this, we have a prerequisite. That is your GitHub account must be created. So I would suggest that your GitHub account must be created. Just in case you don't have GitHub account, don't worry. There is a separate video which uh, for which the link I have already given in the description box. Please follow that video and set up your GitHub account and then follow the GitHub flow along with me uh, during this session. That would really help you. Yeah, so I will just open the web browser, login into my GitHub account and then We'll, we'll see the demonstration. All right. Yeah. So here is the GitHub page. I will just sign into my GitHub account. So it is asking for authentication code as I have uh, enabled two factor authentication for my account. So I'll just give a passcode to this. If you want to know how the two factor authentication can be enabled at your GitHub account, please write in the comment box and I will come up with a separate video for that. All right. Yeah. So I have logged in uh, to my GitHub account and here you can see my profile. So the first topic for today's discussion is creation of a new repository. So I'll just switch to your repository section from here. So it will show me my existing repositories. Since I want to create a new one, I will just click on this button new. And it will give me uh, this page where I get enter a repository name, whatever I want just that that name should exist means that name should be unique for this owner which is displayed here as thing constructive all right so i will create a repository name let's say demo repo okay so it is uh, giving me a green tick demo repo is available so good for me yeah so i can proceed with this repo name because it is unique, so it is allowed. All right, so I can give optional description here. Demo repo. All right, so I can select the visibility as public or private depending upon uh, my choice. So for now, I'm keeping my repo as public. But if you don't want to make your uh, repository as public, you can simply choose private. That is also perfectly fine. And later on also, you can change the visibility of the repository. So no need to worry much. Okay. So I will just say public repository. I can initialize this repository with the readme file, get ignore file and the licensing stuff. So since I'm, I'm making a simple uh, demonstration project, I will not choose the license file. So for now, I will just choose add a readme file wherein I can just write the purpose or the description for the, for, for the audience to understand, read 
whatever I, I want to write it is a simple textual file all right I can add a git .git ignore file and many git ignore templates are already given all the languages which are supported by github all those github templates are given here you can say majority of the github templates are available so for now i'm just uh, creating a simple textual repository to show you the thing so i am not choosing any uh, git ignore template here so i'll just deselect this so simply a readme file will be added to my repository as of now and as a fundamental of github main branch will be the default branch if i want to change my uh, default branch name all right i can go to settings and do that for now let us keep it as uh, main uh, default name and then we'll say create repository generally also it is not suggested to change your main branch name otherwise uh, for you know uh, the developers who will be joining your project later they'll be confused so it is always suggested to go ahead with the default branch name for your main or or the master branch all right that is where i always restrict myself from changing this main branch name and would, would suggest the same to you and then later on it is your decision and your project project requirement depending on that you can choose to change the default branch name completely up to you all right uh yeah so here you can see a main branch is created my repo which we named as demo repo is created and a default readme.md file is created okay so let's say i want to do some changes in this readme file or um, okay so i can simply do edit from here okay I, this will be open and i will just say sample one all right and then I can just go down and commit my changes let's say I keep the commit changes name as default update readme.md okay and I can add any additional optional mess message Now, two options are given. I can commit directly to the main branch or I can create a new branch. So, for now, this readme change, I will just say commit directly to the main branch. So, let this default button remain selected and we'll go ahead and say commit changes. Okay. So now you can see in the main branch directly my changes are committed i can see sample one also written in my readme file okay so i'll just come back to my repo okay and it is showing me update readme.md so this file is updated my new changes are reflected now the next part of the session is how can i create a new file add a new file here and how can i add a new branch for now only one branch is there okay so if i want to add a new branch i will just type my new branch name here let's say we'll say new branch okay since this branch does not exist it is giving me an option to create this branch from here I'll just proceed and say create new branch. You can now see new branch is created. So I now have two branches main and new branch. Okay. So new branch is also the copy of main branch. So whatever is there in the main branch, my readme.md file is displayed here. Now the next step, I want to add a new file using this new branch what do i do i'll go to add file and say create new file 
I can name my uh, file the way I want. So I will just say sample file.txt. So let's say I want to create a textual file which is a sample file and I want to write uh, some content to it. So let's say I will just choose a content. I've already written uh, some content here and I will just put that content. Okay, so this is a sample file for GitHub flow demonstration. So for demonstration purposes, I have just created a textual message and we'll keep that textual message here and we'll proceed as a next step. And the next step is commit my new file. All right, because that is the GitHub flow. So the next step is commit my file so let's say i want to go ahead with this default message because this is good to me create sample file txt so i'll just give a tab and come to this optional extended description so let's say optional extended description sample file edition all right so now again i'm getting two messages here commit directly to new branch or I can create a new branch for this commit and start a pull request. So since I have already created my new branch, so I will proceed committing to that branch. Or if I want to, you know, originate another new branch from this, I can choose and give that new name here. All right. So for now, I will proceed with commit directly to new branch branch. Okay. So commit new file. So once I have committed this, I am able to see this message, see, in the yellow box. New branch had recent pushes less than a minute ago. That means a new branch which we have created had recent pushes. Compare and pull request. So from here, when I say compare and pull request, it will open a new pull request, okay, where I can give any message. Pull request for sample file addition. Okay. And let's say it has auto detected some optional message here, which looks okay to me. Now you can see here compare and pull was the message, right? So it is creating a pull request and comparing the two branches. Which two branches? my new branch to my main branch i can change branches here but for now i have two so it is comparing these two if i want to change my base branch to something else that selection i can do from here itself all right so it is comparing new branch to main branch and creating a pull request i will say create pull request The moment I have created, I said that create a pull request, it has checked and compared both the branches. Is there any conflict? If there is any conflict, it would display it right here. Okay. So currently it is telling me this branch has no conflicts with the base branch. So good for merging. Just in case, if it had any conflicts, it would display it here. And in that case, we should proceed with the conflict resolution first. Otherwise, it will not allow us to merge this pull request. Okay. So, what were the changes? The changes are seen here. My message and this is the file which is changed or added. I can simply click and check. Okay. So, commit one commit is there and file changes are given here. So this is given. So this file looks good. This is what we wanted to change or add a new file. So I can simply say merge pull request because there is no conflict in the uh, branch comparison. So I can simply go ahead and say merge pull request. It is asking whether I really want to merge it. 
yes if i want to write any more optional messages here i can go ahead and do that and would say confirm merge so now i am getting a successful message pull request successfully merged and closed right so once my request is merged i can go back to my repository demo repo and can see the sample file.txt is now visible in the base or my main branch all right i can click and verify the content so this is what i added through new branch and finally merge to my main branch all right so it is now available in the main branch so this is how we have verified our changes also so this is all about today's session plan so what we covered we created a new repository then a new branch creation then addition of a new file with some editing in that file to the new branch created a pull request compared the pull request branch with the base or main branch and finally we merged that pull request to the base branch and verified the changed or the new newly added sample file in our main branch here so it is right here all right so uh, this concludes today's session so in today's session we we have seen the complete github flow using web interface i will create a separate session video for github flow using command line because that is also very much needed for the developers so you will be shortly getting a, a separate video for github flow using command line all right so that's all for today's session viewers yeah so thank you for watching uh, the session and please uh, suggest what next you would like to learn so subscribe to my channel so that you are always updated with the new sessions new learnings at uh, think constructive and if you like the video please uh, click like button and share this video with more and more people 